Hello friends, welcome to another tutorial in wave propagation. We are discussing ionospheric propagation and today we'll cover two topics out of ionospheric propagation which are skip distance and OWF which is optimal working frequency. So if this is something that interests you then please keep watching. Let's look at the definition of skip distance. It is the shortest distance from a transmitter measured along Earth's surface at which a sky wave of fixed frequency more than Fc will be returned to Earth. Now let's understand this with a suitable diagram. Now we are talking about a frequency which is greater than Fc. So any frequency greater than Fc needs to be sent at some incident angle but we need to make sure that what is the frequency that will give me the s shortest skip distance or in other words which will give me the shortest distance covered by that frequency at some incident angle so that it returns back to the earth so in order to understand that let's look at this three wave it has an angle of theta i which is the incident angle and this is by the way the shortest distance if we increase theta i for that same frequency we see that the distance increases the skip distance will increase uh, a little bit of theta which when increased results me into and when it is further increased it results me even more and of course you see that when the angle of incidence increases uh, the wave returns from a lower altitude but if you uh, reduce the angle of incidence for that same frequency it'll uh, it'll cause the rays to escape from the ionosphere into the free space so this three wave this wave number three uh, gives me the shortest distance for a particular frequency at certain angle theta i and that is known as the skip distance again looking at the uh, definition it is the shortest distance from a transmitter along Earth surface for which a sky for which a sky wave of fixed frequency will be returned to the earth now let's look at the expression for skip distance to understand the expression for skip distance we need to take help of the expression that we derived in the previous tutorial fmuf uh, we derived the expression for fmuf in terms of critical frequency skip distance and virtual height so this is what we have in hand so taking this fc on the left hand side and squaring it this under root goes away and taking this one on the other side so i get the skip to be this should be the whole under root twice of h under root of f m u f f c square minus this will be the shortest distance from a transmitter and for a fixed frequency that will be more than fc and a typical numerical could look something like this if you assume that reflection takes place at a height of 400 kilometers and that um, maximum density of the ionosphere corresponds to 0.9 refractive index at uh, 10 megahertz so this is eta from eta we know that th for which muf is 10 megahertz so let's see the steps we know that eta is 1 minus 81 n upon f square so, so this refractive index is happening at this frequency so we put this value of refractive index and this frequency to find the value of n m which is the uh, ionization density at that layer 
and in the second step from the ionization density we can find the critical frequency and the critical frequency comes out to be 4.359 into 10 raised to power 6 or 4.359 megahertz and then a skip distance can be easily found using the formula that we have just derived here it is 2 into 400 fmuf is given 10 megahertz fc is calculated in the previous step and that turns out to be 1651 kilometers approximately and now we need to talk about another term which is known as optimum working frequency this is going to be the last term that we will discuss in ionospheric propagation it is the frequency used normally for ionospheric propagation as compared to MUF OWF is 15% less than MUF and the reason for that is pretty simple that uh, the the variation of the layers with respect to day and night will cause some increase in the vertical height of the signal so it is better to be safe and keep the frequency a little lower so that it does not escape into the free space because um, we want the signal to come back so if we keep the uh, frequency of the signal to be a little lower then it becomes uh, sure short that it will come back even in night as well as in day so the basic definition of OWF is what you need to remember it can come in a short answer type question that it is a normal frequency um, the operational frequency which is used in ionospheric propagation and it is kept 15% lesser than the MUF so with this uh, so with these two terms we've concluded the ionospheric propagation part of the wave propagation and I hope you liked this quick video and if you did give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel I'll see you around in the next videos take care bye bye